mm -hmm. some of the uh, the gains were turned up a little too high, so we do have a little bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we're, we're not going to use all of all of the songs, so we'll be able to pick and choose and get the, 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 definitely the best stuff. It's good sounding stuff. <coughs> so I guess we're just going to um, ask you to, to to ramble, starting with like who you are and why you uh, like uh, started Picante, mm -hmm. and then basically talk about like what Picante's musical mission is, you know, what was the purpose of your music, what it means to you all, why you want to play Led Zeppelin in a, you know, in that style, you know, that kind of stuff. And then maybe after you feel like you've said everything you want to say about the band as a whole, talk about each individual musician and maybe their background a little bit, uh, so that we can, like, while you're talking about them, do a close-up shot and play a little bit of music uh, while you're talking. And then uh, maybe even mention why you chose them for your band. It's, you started the whole thing, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, just kind of... I used to have a, a band before. You know, oh, yeah? I don't want to mention that, maybe not. Well, I'll just say I, have, I had a band before, and um, <coughs> from that band, the only member that stayed was the pianist. Oh, okay, cool. And, um, and then I chose... I. It's not running. That'd be, oh, no, no, but that'd be... Oh, it is, but we won't use it. Um, but that'd be a great segue. You know, you could talk about Picante and what the music is, and then be like, and my previous band uh, had a similar goal, and the uh, piano player was from that band. You could start talking about him, and then you could say, and then you could, you know, move into the other musicians from that. You know, okay. use that as a segue. All right. Yeah, I think really about yourself, about the band, why you play what you play, what you like about it. Yeah. The guys, just don't worry about being all continuous and everything. You have the idea of what we want, yeah. and then we'll intercut this. It won't be all one piece. Exactly. So, so just ramble with other okay. stills, and yeah, we'll take whatever is good. Okay. Whatever. So you just you start with whatever you want and start start looking at the time. Time. Camera Actually, I think if you could... Question. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Let's see, yeah, if you could just look at me, I guess that probably looks good there. Yeah. Um, so, who are you, uh, what's your musical background, and why did you start Picante? Uh, my name is Ruben Orango, and I'm a violinist. I teach um, strings at the high school and middle school level at Asheville High School, Asheville High School and Asheville Middle School. And I'm classically trained. Um, I went yeah, I've been here, I guess, in, in the Asheville area since... Let me go back a little bit. I grew up in New York City. I went to high school there. Um, then I decided to uh, go to school down here in North Carolina. I school of the arts for a couple of years. And I loved it in Asheville so much that I stayed. And this is my home now. And, um, the people here are just wonderful. It's just, uh, it's, this is my home now. Um, I started uh, Picante probably about three years ago. Previously, I had another band. Um, and those guys moved on and they wanted to do their own thing. And uh, before it was more of a Latin jazz thing, a nightclub type of thing. It was, we didn't have a vocalist. And uh, I wanted to move ahead. I wanted to do something different. I'm, I'm the kind of person that likes all kinds of music. You know, there's always, and you can see it in our music. You know, we play salsa, we play reggae, we play uh, rock and roll. We play a little bit of kind of classical flavor, you know, like Stay With a Heaven with a little bit of too much smooth stuff, classical, little classical flavor. And, you know, we believe that music is, um, I mean, you can express things with music that you can't express with words. And we try to reach people, you know, that way. And we try to um, send out a good message, you know, that it's uh, good music is good music, you know. And um, you can tell by David my uh, vocalist, his, uh, his original songs have a really good message. If you really listen, listen really carefully, especially to one uh, titled, um, to this dance called Me and You. And, um, and there's another one, Who Needs Love, is another one that we're going to play tonight that you'll hear. Here, listen to the vocalist because he's really, uh, he's conscious about sending out the right kind of message um, to people, you know. And, um, um, so, as I was saying before, the pianist is the only one that stayed, which means my right-hand man. <laughs> um, and then, um, the way I chose the other musicians, um, well, I, I, I do two things. You know, I look for something that is real genuine in musicians, and one genuine feeling, you know, a good person, and that they are not in the, not, you know, no ego trips. We don't have any ego trips in this band. We just uh, play because we love it. And, you know, I always find, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I've been lucky in choosing people, you know, I, I find something that is special, you know, and, and, I, and I just kind of pull them in. Um, but 
David, the, the, the vocalist, and Joel are members of the Unity family called here at the Unity uh, Center, and they play every Sunday. And the way I met them was that uh, every once a month I play with the band here. I go to this church and I play with them, and so I like what David was doing with his vocals. And uh, so I went to Warren. He was, let's see, uh, David was the first one that I picked in this whole group right here. Um, so I went to Warren. I said, "Look, you gotta, you gotta hear this guy. He's awesome." Very sweet sound, sweet vocals. Um, so, and he's got something. So I we had a rehearsal, just the three of us. And uh, David, as a matter of fact, David brought this, this dance called Me and You, and he sang it for Warren. And I said, you know, this it was more of a ballad. And I said, you know, this thing is really going good. And I said, that's a great gig. So he tried a reggae, and Warren kind of filled in, and then I kind of did my thing, and it, it just clicked. And then from on, from then on, I looked at. Um, finding a percussionist, a Latin percussionist, and Ronnie I've known for a while. Before Ronnie, I used to play with my brother, my brother's doing his own band now. Um, so I pulled Ronnie in, you know, and I said, you know, we need a, a Latin percussionist. And I said, oh man, I'm glad to. So we pulled him in. Then after that, um, Spencer was the last one, the, uh, percussionist. And I, I knew him years ago. His mom goes to the school. I knew him when he was like 15 or something, and I was 25, a long time ago. So and I found out that he, since I was interested in reggae, I found out that he and his mom uh, were doing a thing every summer where they took people down to Jamaica and were tied in with this resort place here. And she brought people down to Jamaica to spend time. And as it turned out, Spencer uh, spent a lot of time in Jamaica in the summer. So he lived with the, uh, how do you call it, Rust? Rust Yeah, he lived with her, you know, for months at a time, out in the, the woods. And so he meditated with him, he did all kinds of stuff with him, and he jammed with him a lot on the beach. And uh, so he brings that special reggae type of feel to the band, which you know we love. Um, uh, so, and that's, that's the way we, we started. And uh, we we're doing, you know, we're just going a step at a time, and we're still thinking, talking about the sky's the limit. We, we're talking about, we haven't even touched the surface yet. You know, we're just not beginning. We've got ideas with, I mean, it's unbelievable. I just can't. <laughs> I got to take it a step at a time. But uh, we're thinking of, you know, doing a uh, CD possibly in the spring or next summer. Right by next summer. We've got enough material to do it. Uh, you know, the problem is finding the time for everybody to really dedicate because we want it to make to be a, uh, you know, a really good, good CD. I uh, mean, that takes time to practice. As far as the, the professions of the guys, they're all like you see, they're. Excellent musicians, um, and like every musician, we all need a daytime job. So uh, David, vocalist, owns Honeysuckle Hollow in Hendersonville. It's a shop, uh, specialty shop with uh, all kinds of gifts. And it's a beautiful shop. And you can find just about anything: so music, CDs, candles, you know, clothing, everything. Warren, the pianist, Warren Goggin, he's a professor at Warren Wilson College. He's a piano professor there. Warren Wilson College. Um, Ronnie is an electronic specialist. He works for a company here in town. Uh, and um, let's see, who did I leave out? Spencer. Spencer is, he just finished uh, his teaching certificate or teaching degree at UNCA. He's now a full fledged teacher, history teacher, and he's now looking for a job. So, but he was a music major before at App State, Appalachian State. And before, when he was in high school, he was first chair in the All State uh, Band of you know, Percussion. So he was excellent, you know, one of the best at drummers ever at Reynolds, Reynolds High School. Um, and uh, Joel is a pharmacist here in town. And um, so, you know, we all just do this part time, and someday we, we hope to maybe do it full time. We, we can, step at a time. Perfect. Do we have everybody's name and the instrument that they play anywhere? Uh, yeah, I have it on my website um, under band, but I can give it to you. It's all there. We have a web page and it's everybody's their name and history. Okay. Did you mean in the video? Like no, as long as we oh, have it. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's on your website. Who plays what? Okay. Yeah. 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 You definitely uh, mentioned everybody. I don't know if you... Yeah, I think I you didn't mention last names either, though. I think. Oh, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll, yeah. I, well, probably what we'll do is when you say someone's name, cut into a picture of them, have a title of their name over it and what, they, what they're playing mm -hmm. as you talk about them, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. And if it, if it doesn't, didn't work, we can do another one, you know?
Oh yeah. Tell me for I you guys. Yeah. I think it sounded great. Like, uh, the yeah. The only thing is that uh, it it may have been a, a you know, bit of background noise. It sounds like they want uh, they want you to go back out though. So I you know, we we'll, it. yeah, we'll work Time with this. And, you know, if anything needs to be done differently, we'll we'll just do it again. Yeah, thanks, Drew. Thank you. Thank you guys. We're going to get to work. Yeah. Oh, man, wonderful. Yeah. I think we're going to call it. We're going like this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody out there was like, come on, come okay. on. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Drew. Thank you, guys, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll get back with you. It's priceless. Yeah, yeah. we're looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Yeah, thank thanks, Drew. That was really good.